What is up, gamers? This is the Virgil mode of DMC5, or DMC4. This will be very cathartic because Virgil starts off with all of the purple and blue orbs that you have on the other characters. So we'll be doing Son of Sparta as well, just especially considering that I already have like half the upgrades and I'll be able to have enough Proud Souls for every move set upgrade as well. Uh, video game? Oh, I, I forgot I swapped to Thug Bro. I forgot I fucking got really mad about the menus. Alright, here we go. Legendary Dark Knight. I don't want I don't want it to be that stoned. I've seen Legendary Dark Knight in this. Hold on, I need to fix the fucking display because it's all fucked up right now. Hold on. I still can't believe Virgil actually fucked. True! Isn't there a cutscene that shows that? In full detail? Alright, I think it's fixed. <laughs> Enough with the slander, stop slandering me. Actually, in print, it's liable. Is it working? Okay, it's working. The thing it was doing when it wasn't working is that it would be at 60 FPS and then drop down to like 54 for unknown reasons, like every 10 seconds. Every time you boot this fucking special edition up, you have to, um... Hey, the main menu's different. You have to reset, uh, the fucking resolution or the frame rate or whatever. Because they made it wrong on purpose. Just like how they made the menus wrong on purpose. I only just peruse my controls for Virgil. Needs to be left trigger for me. Jump to action, double trigger, lock on, change sword. Left, I don't use change sword right, so this needs to be there. What buttons does Virgil press for Judgment Cut in this game? I know it's like it's like a double input, right? But it's not on. Um, it would be like squ uh, square and attack, right? Melee attack and trick action for him. I think that's more manageable for me. What? Why not? Oh, oops, I, uh... Wait. Huh? Hold on, hold on, I think I fucked something up. Why is change sword left on right? And right on left? Am I reading this wrong? No, I'm not, actually. It's just confusing. It's, like, backwards. They mean, like, scroll. What? What are you talking about? Why? Why not? I'm not allowed. What have I done wrong? What are you talking about? You you sound crazy right now. Why aren't you letting me back up? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Put this on triangle. Put this on LT. Okay, I don't know what I did wrong. You're binding the same button twice? I thought I'd fix that like three times in a row just now. I thought what I just did now is what I just... Okay, whatever. I did no such thing. You had attack on Y. Did I do that? You had LT map twice. Oh. Okay, I thought I didn't do that, but okay. Alright, let's do this. I should be able to blow through this game even on Virgil Stone of Sparta because I'm gonna have like everything. <laughs> well, it's Virgil without Vaseline. Look at his face. I'm gonna get that man some uh What what what's a moisturizer? What Save my joke. Oh, 
Um, cocoa butter. This is pre-3, apparently. The Order of the Sword, huh? They worship a demon as a god. This theme is really good in this game. He looks like he's 30 years old in this. Why do you have to do that? His hair was already back. His hair was already back. Why do you have to do that? At least he has a little hair tufts. Just what are your true intentions? He does look comfy under that shawl, though. He looks snug. Interesting. Why does it look like Kyrie's model? I was about to say, yeah, they probably just reuse that something something. Freud keep, can't keep getting away with it. Uh, I have enough to buy everything. Not only because of Dante, Nero, Proud Souls, but also the fucking DLC stimmy that I have for some reason. Is this move in this combo? Is this in five? I don't remember that. That one I remember. And they also gave him fucking Nero's uh, really cool delay air combo, like the exact same thing, which is great. Yeah, they have that. That's normal. Yeah, I remember that. B plus Y, that's default controls, is it? Yeah, I think for me that's, um... Yeah, for me that's X and Square, some fucking Final Fantasy 16 input right there. That actually isn't too bad. Beowulf. What's up, Corbin? Yeah, so he has, like, the kick. Okay. Beast uppercut. Yeah. It's a shame that he doesn't have fucking Rising Sun. He just has the Dante move. This is, like, two of them. Yeah. Best move Virgil always has. Nice. Kick 13 is a B plus Y? What the hell? Fucking FF16, what are we doing here? Press A, yeah. Jump hitbox. That's a dream bomb. I'm assuming it does not have custom controls, does it? Does not have custom controls at dream bomb. Thank you. 
Spellbreaker 2. What's so special about 2? Is it just stronger? Building stab, yeah. Usual stuff here. Summon swords, summon swords. Hold X or spiral in this game. Back hold for storm swords. Forward for the it's Jover. They'll, I'm sure they'll add it. I'm gonna give that game about a week before I start it. Whatever patches might come out in that time. Heavy rain swords. Yep. I think that's everything. I guess I could have pressed this, but I just wanted to read everything once. And I have all the fucking blues and purples from the other story, so yeah, we're just gonna fucking roll through the game, I think. Move. Oh yeah, I needed that tutorial. Wait, why is the speaking of which, why is the tutorial on? Let me fight this guy like normal. What are we doing here? It's off. Why is it on? What are we doing here? New character? Yeah, but I did this as Nero. Wait, that is not my custom controls. What are you? Why are you? Why are you jumping? Oh, I pressed default, that's why, hold on. First attempt? Oh, okay, yeah, hold on, I will restart the mission. I do this normally. Letters? I forgot I pressed the default button on the controls here. Why is- what have I done? Melee and L2? What? How'd that happen? What? That's what I meant to do. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Don't Sparta. I just wanted to match the difficulty that I did on the other characters. I guess I can't do this normally. Oh shit, Virgil's fucking... His weapons are... on the left side when you scroll them. And I can only hear the noise on the right side. That's interesting. The way the UI is designed for this character, and the sound effect even, makes me think I need to press L2 to switch weapons. But I'm so used to it being on R2 that it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, the noise plays on the left side and the visuals on the left side as well, even though I'm pressing the right side, it's really weird that they do it like that. I know it's not like that in 5, thankfully. Virgil looks like a Sims model, yeah. How many of these swords have been spinning, bro? What's going on? Bro, why are we doing this tutorial? I turned them off. There's the left cycle and the right cycle. Oh yeah, but it's still on the left side, and that's real weird. I didn't have to do this as Nero, that's why I'm confused. You can't skip unless it's Nero Dante? Okay, that's weird. I guess I'll do this normally. 
Bro, he like shot the floor. This is not Yamato. This is the fucking dual wield. And it's still giving me the fucking prompts. Scum. Yeah, I mean, yeah, technically, yes, Yamato. Alright, here we go, the replay. Hey, look, the health bar looks different. That's cool. I actually did not know it was like that. How do I make the swords do stuff? It's different for every character, you just didn't notice? Oh! Cool. Can't bark for this Virgil. Yeah, he, he looks really weird. It's like some fucked up amalgamation between what he's supposed to look like. Younger DMC3 Virgil and... 40 year old... Bachelor Dante that they have in this game. And that's probably how, exactly how they made him too. This is gonna be nice because they don't have to watch cutscenes for sure. Look at that! He runs in such a funny way. I think he runs like he runs exactly like this in five as well. He's just like holding his Yamato. He's like going for it. His hair looks really flat from the back. Like it looks completely he he looks bald from this angle. Almost. You see that? It's like you can't see any definition on his hair. It's just flat. It looks normal from the front, but from the back, it's like he looks like Dante from the back. Yeah, he looks really weird. And also, yeah, concentration meter is in this. Does the concentration concentration meter gatekeep any of your moves like it does in 5? Like, can I not judgment cut unless that thing's full? Virgil backshots. I said Jeremy Cut, no? Okay. It does power up some of your moves though, right? I remember not people not really being a fan of the concentration meter because it means that you can't whiff attacks for fun. Because the meter goes down if you whiff. So they kinda like dictate that you have to play a certain way as the character. Powers your moves, and if it's full, you can JC. Okay. I guess it's not that important to like make sure that you're powered up for your moves if you don't want to, like, like if you don't care about dealing extra damage. 
just something you have to consider if you want things to end with JC. But I'm sure if you're doing a swag combo, you're always going to have that thing fill up anyways. Oh, oh you have to trick. I thought you had to shoot it. Yeah, visually this game looks great. I wanted to pick it up for the- I wanted to get the PS3 version so I could play it on my CRT, but I was told that it doesn't have turbo and that's a deal breaker because it would fuck up my muscle memory if I played on my CRT with this. As cool as it would be otherwise. If it doesn't have turbo, it's just a bad habit. I don't have to do these, right? I already got this one. Yeah, in fucking every single one of his weapons in... Uh, five is a screen clear that you need to fill the meter for. Yeah, that's combo B. Nice. Bro, will you fucking... There you go. Oh yeah, I forgot about, um... Judgment cut, just standard one. I think the only thing that's throwing me off a little bit is that when you weapon switch, it's on the left side and it makes noises on the left side, which is exactly what guns do in every game that guns are in. So it's weird that the sword is on the left side and it makes, like I'm pressing R2 and things on the left side of the screen are happening in my, my eyes and my ears. That's like the only thing that's throwing me off right now. And it's not even throwing me off that much. It's just weird that they wouldn't put it on the right side where every sword has always been, ever. It's not even like that in 5, is it? I don't remember. I don't know. Whoa. Oh yeah, he's Air Stinger, I forgot about that. It doesn't even have any distance in this game, though. What if you're... Okay, it has distance if you're in D2. Yeah, it's spinning the way I'm expecting it to when I press RT. It's just the fact that it's completely in the left channel. Flipping your headphones. Well, maybe that'd be good for that one sound, but for everything else, I think it would be worse. No, my muscle memory for weapon switching is so solid that it's not an issue. I guess what I could consider doing is, um, if I really, if that really were an issue, I could just put weapon switch on LT or left trigger. I put summon swords on RT, but it's not a problem. I remember the first time I played this character, it felt like I was doing auto combos. That's how powered up he is. And I feel the same way right now. Like, he has the built-in moveset that Nero has, but with, like, Dante weapons. He is him. And I guess it makes sense. He's always meant to be, like, an EX power character. Fuck around and find out mode. I 
Nero should start getting devil arms. Nero... Well, maybe he could have, like, one other sword, but I think what he should get in the next game is a fucking switcher button for his breakers. Which I will have, by the way, for the DMC5 streams. I have a mod that works perfectly for breaker swapping. Maybe they could give the Blue Rose some kind of, like, mode swapping. Where he, like, does different things if you swap, like, let's say it's like an engine swap or something. But I think... Maybe giving him an extra combo or two would be cool too, but I want... I feel like Nero, the best thing about Nero is that he has one juiced up sword. That's all he needs. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather they just embrace the idea of breaker swapping and expand on that idea more instead of fucking doing whatever the hell they did for five. Yeah, Tomboy, exactly. That is, like, I didn't even consider Tomboy when I said that they should have, like, different modes for, um, the Red Queen. Tomboy turns it into, like, a crazy-ass weapon when you charge it up, but you can't get hit out of it. Breaker swapping is really nice to play with because it, um, it essentially gives you infinite breakers, so, like, running out of them isn't an issue and getting hit out of them isn't as big of an issue. But it balances itself out by making it so that you can't do the breakaway attacks where, like, you hold square and then it, like, does an insane move and then breaks the weapon. So it balances itself out by not letting you use those at the, at the cost of it not being, like, an inventory system anymore. Oh yeah, and if you sprint in combat as Virgil, you lose your fucking concentration meter. It's so whack. That's okay, because that doesn't matter. So can you chain a bunch of judgment cuts together? Time it right. I used to be really good at this in five. Yes, I'm gonna have to get used to the timing. Oh, there's the perfect one. Okay, that's a noise I'm familiar with. It has to be perfect in order to chain it, right? I see. Mm. I don't know if I'm chaining it right. In order to... So, um, you're not. You should not swing the sword again? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'll fuck around with it more later. By later, I mean two seconds later. You can chain JC's. Just JCs off a of normal, but you need to have the timing down. I guess I'm not reholding attacks soon enough. Oh, like I'm trying to hold X again after getting the perfect one, but then I'm swinging again. I don't know. Should I not be trying to hold and then release it for the second follow up? Or should I just tap X for every follow-up? Oh, 
Tapping it? I always like re held and released House in five. Oh, that was rising, so I need to be in DT for it. That's cool. Right, aerial, the timing's a bit easier. Good point. Hold on. I don't see what the visual cue is supposed to be. Like, you can see it when you just charge it raw like this. Like, you get the flash, but I, I'm not seeing the flash on a follow-up. I thought you needed to hold X for that to happen again. I'll fuck with that more later, but... If you see the... I mean, yeah, if you see the flash, but I mean, if you, you see it, you can see what the first frame is so that you don't have to see it. That's what I mean. Like, I'm trying to just see it so that I can see what I'm looking for for the one I'm actually trying to do. You see these results? Is there, for the Cat Ears mod, is there just a version that's just Nico? I can, I can compromise on that. How did I get in the air there? I thought I did a perfect roll. Does Virgil just go in the air if you get a perfect side roll like that? You see that? Fall asleep and play this character. I weren't kidding. But what I really should try doing is finishing off the bosses like this with judgment cuts. Like a real Virgil gamer. But I don't think I'm gonna get the concentration meter up in time for that. Yeah. Also, the Kaneko double trigger looks really good here. I'm realizing now that this, since this game came out in 2015, this is like maybe the last time a Kaneko design was in 3D. Like genuinely, actually. Sab. You need to trip cancel the chain air JCs. Wow, okay, so we're talking about some fucking DMC5 shit that doesn't exist here. Alright. 
Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? Oh yeah, well, damn, what a shitty send off. You're right, that was 2017, 18? 18? Trick cancel, that makes that a lot more complicated. You know what annoys me about fucking the weapon icons? You see Yamato, you can see the Yamato and the the um, the holder. That's two things on the screen. For the single wield weapon. Oops. That's two things on the screen. For a weapon that's one handed. Oh, mostly. But then the one the the weapon that's one sword icon, it's two. They actually fixed that in five, don't they? You do it by buffering an input and tag and switching the Yamato. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it later. Penance for spreading misinformation. Shagman with a 20, thank you. I'm content with just getting the ones, the one perfect judgment cut in this. So slow. Back trick is DT only in this game for some reason, bro. They've been they've been doing back trick in such weird ways. In fucking five, it's a back to forward. In this, it's a DT only. What are we doing? Back trick, Andy's. Where is this guy? Is there like a secret up here? Why did? Why are there? things up there. Is there anything up there? There is. I think I already... Did I already get it? On the other characters? Oh my god. Oh, I see. Hold on. I see a thing I hadn't reached. Fragment? Okay. How many of those do I have? Two? Okay. I guess I could try getting one more Blue Orbis Virgil. I don't know. All the ones I missed are going to be hard to find because I missed them. I had to do a... Yeah, there it is. I had to do a double jump and as Virgil, in order to double jump, you just press that. You have to. Virgil, what are you doing? Virgil, what are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you going backwards? Why are you go why did he go backwards? Oh you don't even need to air trick that Virgil. This has gotta be the shittiest fucking mechanic. These snap points are so fluid that they don't work. And maybe it's the lock-on system, the, uh, the lock-on mode that I'm on. I put it on three, maybe it's only meant for one. Hold on. Maybe they only designed this around lock-on one, and so when you do it on lock-on three, it just breaks. Never mind, this is even worse somehow. Where is he going? Jackpot. Where is he going? Not sham getting me into DMC as well as SMT. Good job, smile. Brain rot. Congratulations, you've fallen for the trap. DMC and SMT are pretty adjacent, especially. It's like. Um, I almost just made a really dumb comparison. It's like Kingdom Hearts. Oh, like, with the aesthetic of SMT. Yeah, I'm holding the lock on. I think I'm just supposed to, like, tap it so that it actually re lock onto the right fucking thing. Here, I'll get this. I almost got it. Bro, Virgil cannot handle this. You cannot 
use the double gulp cup for the fucking Slurpee. Why don't you... I used my air trick already. Why are you locking onto that one? Why? 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 Why are you locking onto the one that you just... Why are you locking... Why? How, uh, what are you even supposed to do at the end there? Like, you latch onto the, the last one, and you just go straight up and then straight down. Why? Many things just happen there. I meant to air stinger at the end there. I think I figured it out, more or less. At, at least for this character. Why? Or what? What? Okay, so I heard the. I just heard the noise. The wow, wow, wow. I heard the noise for the next one. I pressed the button and it did not go anywhere. I heard that and it didn't do anything. That's not your motto. Oh, I wonder if I could do it with um, Starfall. Actually, hold on. The angle is just the worst. This is just the worst. They, they made special edition in two months. That's really cool. I have no inertia, I can't move anywhere. I can't move. I can't I can't move. I can't move. I have no sideways movement. If if I were narrow right now, I could have done this because of charge shot inertia. I could, I could have done it by now if I were narrow, if I were him. Bro thinks he's him. My air hike, my air trick there. I swear to God, I'll get this. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Where is he going? What is he doing? been really fucking funny if the taunt made Virgil step off the platform there like this I wonder if I can do it on purpose okay well I just yeah okay I'm out of here I'm out of there I got it I won what kind of an air stinger even is that okay Jesus
Yeah, all the uh, items are shared between characters, so I'm already like juiced up and ready to go. I bet I could find the rest of the blue orb fragments. Can Virgil do every secret mission? I feel like he has the, he has all the mechanics of Nero and Dante. Oh, except for Styles. But even then, he still has like crazy shit. Not the Royal Guard secret mission. What the uh, the style one? I remember when I tried Legendary Dark Knight mode, they spawned like 10 of these guys here, all doing the like icicle multi hit shit, and I was like, okay. Like, this is as far as I got out of the rope. Okay. What difficulty is LDK based on? Like, I know that they make the spawns insane, but is it based on, like, normal mode damage? Sauce? Okay. All the gimmick modes are based on Son of Sparta. Okay, so Son of Sparta is kind of like the real gamer mode, and normal is just normal for fresh saves. I want to do five on DMD to top off the marathon, but I'm a little, I'm a little scared of bosses like Ares and Standing because when bosses DT, it like doubles their damage, like a fucking Dark Souls Black Phantom version of an enemy. And they also take like a quarter of the damage. So when you get a boss down to like 25%, you actually get them down to like 50% health and they just one start to one shot you, more or less. But that game also gives you like insane damage shit that you can do as Dante and Virgil. So uh, since I've given myself like a little, like a week or so to wait on FF16, I don't mind getting sweaty in DMC5. Especially because I already have every, I have every upgrade and like every blue orb and everything, so I want to just like go balls to the wall with it. Uh, please, just fucking let me attack the enemy, bro. What is this, the cloud port of DMC4? Do we have to have this enabled in combat? Oh, in order to unlock the difficulties, I bought the $1 DLC that unlocks all modes. They, this special edition has... Cheat codes is one dollar DLCs, so I just said fuck it, I'll just get that. So slow. What's my objective in this mission? Is this the Euroblade mission? 
Wait, why the fuck does time? Why, I just realized why is time has come? Why is that playing? Where's Virgil's battle theme? I thought he had a battle theme. Can I get a mod that changes that? They did make new music, that's the thing. The fucking intro, I, I was listening to it on YouTube. Like the, that theme that plays at the start, why is that not playing right now? Is there a mod for that? I will go and install that right now. What fucking part of the game am I doing? What is this? Where am I? There's a mod for it, I think. I think. I don't like that. I don't like that sentence. I don't like I think. I like links. To the mod. So I can install. That's what I like. Damn, Virgil's kind of does shut. This is cool. So slow. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, yeah, hold on. Let me finish this mission, and then I'll get that going. I think. Does being in Devil Trigger power up your judgment cuts? I know it does in 5 where it just applies to every enemy. Guy's still alive. There we go. I gotta use that more. Yeah, this character feels like a prototype for how DMC5 is. And, you know, especially his, his version in DMC5. I didn't realize that they made this in 2015 until not too long ago. I was like, whoa, that was actually just like right before they made 5. What? What are you, what are you talking about? What? How? How does that not work? Sound like you're having fun. I'm having a lot of fun when I'm actually fighting. Virgil owns. I just got owned by the another one of these fucking gimmick things. I hate these things. Why did he why did he do that? What kind of an angle? What 
Damn it, why would he come out at that angle? You can judgment caught off of everything, right? Just like exceeding. Jump after the second one. I did this like perfectly as Nero the other day. I wasn't the first time I fell down I wasn't expecting to fall. Like I did it so perfectly as narrow the other day that I didn't even fall, I just like went straight, so I was expecting that again I guess. Why can you even break that? What does that even do? Oh I, I thought that was an item. That's just a thing you can warp up to. Kinda like JC spam the lunar phase, but you can't spam that as much as you can and you can't do that as much as you can in five. In five you can do that forever. It's really funny. I'm glad that they made Virgil's trick have um, the sword that flies out when you do it. Because when I was playing 3 and I was trying to trick, but I didn't have a line of sight and I just like hit a wall, I was like, oh, nice trick. But now they actually make it clear that when you use it, you need a line of sight so that the summon sword will like warp you. I guess they also did that because it's essentially the same thing as Nero Snatch. Oh, Force Edge Drive, I forgot they even existed. How did I do that? Stay. I should use that more often, holy fuck. This version of that's juiced. Stay. It's a word plus style. That's what I'm... Oh, that. Oh, that's just go to hell! I like how he says it in 5, he's like, go to hell. Okay, well, good thing I've been playing that fucking FF16 demo because I can actually do that input now. This is what you have to do with a fucking stinger in FF16. DMC Nightmare Before Christmas video game. I was thinking about making that. I've seen it. I think I want to make that this year's um, Halloween special. Would that make sense as a Halloween special or a Christmas special? Thanksgiving? <laughs> Halloween? Run as the princess, he went, I am pleading fingers. That's a very run response. What is the input for this attack in five? I know it's way better than pressing two fucking buttons like an asshole. Double up and do it twice. The game is more Halloween themed than the movie. Okay. Back to forward sword. Oh, that's so much better. Bro, why didn't they do that here? That's this game invented back to forward. 
the battle theme is the full this is Halloween song, that's not a problem for me. I don't mind that something like that wouldn't be monetizable on YouTube, that's whatever. <laughs> Mid mayor before Christmas. Soul robber. What? How do you play that game? Is you have to emulate it, right? What systems was that game on? Please tell me it was on GameCube. Please tell me it was on GameCube. Please tell me it was on GameCube. Play down your CS CRT. Oh my god, why are you so smart and I'm so dumb? I can just do that. My current camcorder setup, I can just do whatever on the CRT. I want to. I'm part of the plans right now after CRT stream and the lane stream. Um, I just want to do full cutscene playthroughs of KH1 and 2. And maybe even recom if I feel like throwing that in the mix, but I, yeah, I just played on my PS3. Watch all lane on stream. I've been watching episodes of House on this website. XUC is watching Breaking Bad on Kick. Two days after being warned not to do that on his hundred million dollar contract to stream there. That stinger was so meaty, it like made the game drop frames. Not like lag, but it just like stopped for like a full second. That was really cool. So slow. Oh, I have enough for, um, I guess I could just buy gold orbs. I'm not gonna need those. What the fuck do I even buy? I don't even need any, I don't need red orbs anymore. I have everything. Mike, you with the 26. Thank you for playing. I think I'm gonna try fitting in one Kingdom Hearts stream before I have 16. There's a, there's a stream I want to do for a video that I want to make. Like a video stream combo. Something that's been on my mind for a, a while. Something that would actually be pretty cool. The worst build you can have in KH1. Worst starting build. And I'll take that and I'll make a video of it. Staff, you are so wrong. No, I, I I mapped it out the other day. It's um Proud Mode, Pick Sword, Drop Staff, Dusk Route. You would have one AP off the start of the game and you would level up really slowly. So even if you do get useful abilities, you will not be able to afford them very well. I still don't sound that song plays, isn't it? Funny. Okay, let me install that. Uh, I need that link again. I'm gonna install that mod. Why is everyone screaming? Question marks? What's happening?
I just saw ah and question marks, and I was like, what? Why are there two, two different links? Oh, nice job sending me a page of links and not the link. Okay, here we go. It's mod number 69. How nice. How do you even install these? How do you install these? Drag them into the right folder. Oh, it's that easy? Oh, native DX10. Um, where... Oh, is it on the wrong hard drive? Browse local files. Oh, there it is. Into DX10. Drag and drop. And replace. As a mod in 5 lets you play as any character in any mission. Was, isn't that called like divergence? I was thinking about if I didn't want to do Virgil's full story, which I do, but um, I was thinking about if I wanted to get DMC5 done in a single playthrough and not two different playthroughs, I could do, I could play Virgil during the V missions. And like, cut it like that. But I, I cannot be bothered setting up another independent trainer for uh, DMC5, and plus I want to do Virgil's full story as normal. Let's see if that worked. Wispon with the 10 months, thank you. Well, the, the frame rate's working, but the music is not there. Oh, that's just the performance test quirk. Yeah, I just modded in Virgil's actual battle thing that he's supposed to have. That he has, he has a, he has a, like a battle theme in the intro, and then he just reuses Nero's theme. Scum. Scum. Okay, so I can spin the blade if I style into it. That's what I was expecting. Okay, this frost needs to get out of here. He's been trolling me all day. I, what's up, Shen? The monster rehab was good. Which rehab? What's up, Brendan? Which one do you have? Right, let's see how Virgil handles this guy. Hey, I already dispelled his shit in a single summon sword. Nice. I'm 
I tricked into the laser beam and then walked into the grab. Yeah, summon swords just absolutely destroyed the shield, thank god. I should just restart. Something, something, enemy handicap. I didn't add that as an emo. Oops. I meant to do that. I guess the, the sword that you get from trying to trick also counts as a gun. So you can just launch that in two different ways. V combo mods, he's got a minimum. V combo mods are random. You can have your entire combo get fucked up because Nightmare did the wrong thing. Fuck that character in both story and gameplay. You need a dick. Thank god, most, like, half of his missions, you have a choice between him or Nero. Like, the Divergence missions are the ones that he's in, mostly. I'm When I get to him in DMD, I'm going to use gold orbs to get through his, his missions. Just straight up. I was holding my round trip, why didn't I round trip? Oh, I forgot, I have this. It's a silly room that we're in right now. That'll help against the blitz. This is actually so good as a battle theme. Why didn't they use this? What's wrong with Capcom? They made it and then they didn't use it. What were they thinking? Stupid assholes. That does that much? Okay, whatever. I was trying to use the fucking thingamabob to kill him, but I didn't do it in time. Cool enemy. I should have saved DT for that. Just restart so that I don't have to worry about enemy handicap again. Is this sauce? Yep. Here, let me add enemy handicap right now. I still have the... I have the, uh, the picture. Should be able to add it just live like this. I don't know if it, I don't think 7TV takes any time to look at their shit. Did I even save it? As a file that I know how to find? Oh, there it is. Enemy handicap. I might improve it later, like actually cropping it properly, but it would be there in about a minute. Have you had the Nitro Peach? I haven't. I haven't had any of the new Nitros. Bro, all the puzzles in this game are literally just Spongebob minigames.
There's so much SpongeBob content in this game, it's really funny. Yeah, this is a Baja Blast 2 and a Baja Blast 3. I wasn't crazy about the yellow one, but I I wanted to try the red one, but I couldn't find it. There's a pineapple one and a fruit punch one. I only have a pineapple. I didn't need to spell this thing. That did like no damage to him. Uh oh. Alright, just get BT to survive the fucking red grab if I can get it again. I didn't put him in red, so that's good. He just he just went straight into red. He didn't even care. I didn't even get time to damage him. Whatever, I win. Oh, there's a Baja four. I need to try the red one. I want to try the red one. Baja one is the only real one, the other ones are imposters, but I, they're probably good. Goofiest air trick in this game. His air trick has unique properties that Dante doesn't. Oh yeah, doesn't that, isn't that always the case? I always feel like that Virgil's trick abilities are just better. It's pretty typical because this is only style, you know. This is probably insane on legendary document mode when there's like 500 enemies in the hallway here. time because Spongebob game? Oh, I was wondering, I was wondering what the fuck was going on. I was hitting them all like a million times. Thanks, Spongebob game. <laughs> yeah. I thought that the game just crashed. I thought I actually just, I actually almost pissed in my graphics card right there. That actually kind of freaked me out. I was like, what the hell? That that complete stop for a second there. That render on his boots is horrible. How did you notice that?
I notice everything. I feel like, especially since I've become a streamer, I've become very gameplay tunnel visioned, you know? I need to slow down and appreciate some of the finer details of how shitty Virgil's boots look, apparently. Why is he so wide? Virgil's always been kind of wide. It's his coat. He's very square framed. Alright, where's this last Euro blade? I need to like go through that door or whatever it is. Find like the back one. Oh, here's one. Oh, but this isn't the one. Do I need to be in here? I don't think I need to be in here. Oh yeah, the fireball room. Yeah, thanks. This guy got shot, what happened? No. <laughs> I thought that word wasn't... well, whatever. I thought that word wasn't bad. Men don't get to say it? Oh, okay, so it's like... Let's try, let's try saying that to the Australians, okay? Try telling the Australians that men can't say that. I'm trying to go to a deal with this guy's shield gimmick. Just do that, I guess. I think I tried that earlier, it's um... That. Go to hell. Oh yeah, no, trust me, I know that. I'm American. Of course I know that. It's like the N-word for women over here. Trust me, I know that. It's literally true. That's actually factual. It's changing a little bit because of the internet. People are a bit more aware of how it's used literally everywhere else, but in an American accent, it sounds bad. Throwing a round trip. Oops. Please just throw this damn thing. There you go. Yeah, fucking round trip. Okay.
It's not even just the accent, I, that's just my take on it. One of the reasons why it isn't such a good word in America is that the accent is very unfunny. Unfunny way of saying the word. Just inherently. There's like a million other valid reasons why, but I think for me, the number one. At least as a streamer. Games. I actually like the DMC4 puzzles. But I'm a big fan of how 5 just does away with this like almost entirely. To me, 5 is the best DMC game because there are next to no puzzles and no fixed camera angle. Look at Virgil's hair from the back. It looks so weird. It's like flat. Like he was wearing like a baseball cap for like 24 years. Why are they just dodging everything? Did they just dodge gunfire? That's so weird. The sword. Why are they... Why are we five feet in the air? Five hundred feet in the air? Where's the frog? Can the frog just show up? Can we do it normally? Where's the frog? I like that how that's basically just an Agni and Rudra attack. That the will rush. Hey, or, okay, can we do normally? Why, why is this face taking so long? Where's the frog? There you are. Did that hit? I did not. It did, but... 
Oh, I think it did. Cool. Virgil's crazy in this game. He feels kind of like a prototype version of how it is in 5. Peak Fiction out tonight. I know people are playing it, um, people have been playing it today with New Zealand changing their control, their, um, their PS5 location to New Zealand. You can play it now on your PS5 if you do that. You're a bit quieter, the game is too loud. Hmm. I'll make myself, I was probably just mumbling, being a little mumbler. I've decided I'm going to wait on FF16 for like, a week or so while I finish DMC, and maybe by the time I get to it, they'll patch in custom controls. And that way, that people that want to actually like play it on their own terms right away first can perhaps watch me after a week. I've decided. I was going back and forth on it for a while, but the people have made themselves clear. Yeah, I don't mind. I, I can dodge spoilers, and even then I'm not super aware of who even is who in that game. I thought that fucking... Clive's mom... From the demo, I'm, I'm talking purely in demo terms right now. I thought that was Benedicta. I thought they were the same white woman. The whole time. Maybe I should have read the active time lore, so that I could have seen Clive's mom's name. Because that's the only time that it's shown in that demo. Oh, I should be using this. I'm, when I play that game, I'm not gonna read the ATL. I think it's a cool feature, but I'm not gonna interrupt cutscenes for that. Whoa, Virgil has little thingamabobs up there. Wish Nero had that, Jesus Christ. Those red orbs. Break the statue. Oh, that's just for orbs, though, right? I don't need orbs. It feels like round trip always overshoots its target. You see that? Look. Will you fucking charge the round trip? There you go. Alright, that time. Look at the hitbox. He's nowhere near that. Can you just store his Virgil? I did that one. That's why it's not red anymore. That did, did not even come into contact with the actual thing. It was just like right in front of it. Hitbox gets more disjointed with each level of concentration. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's true. Somebody told me that earlier. That was 
<clears throat> that's supposed to be the forward swords. A little stinger jump. So all knockback and any attack you do is summon sword. Interesting. I'm not really sure how to apply that or why they would be good for me, but that's neat. Oh, you mean like if I st if I did a stinger at an enemy and I knocked them across the arena, I could hit him with a summon sword right after the stinger so that they don't go flying? GG, don't you watch Eris? You should know how a antagonistic moderator kind of environment works. You gotta keep you on your toes. You should know how this works. I don't even know what he's talking about, to be completely honest. Whoa, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, I started up the input for fucking... Judgment cut and I cancelled and I said I kept tricking around, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, I think Claybull disagreed with him about something with puzzle games and then they got crazy. He didn't get no he didn't get banned. He just got timed out because I don't know what he's talking about. Too busy gaming. Oh my god. Summon sword bug on frost? What do you mean? Can I spawn like a million summon swords up its ass? Knock a frost in the air and hit him with a summon sword. He reverses all knockback and sends him flying towards you. I'm not sure what that's supposed to look like, but I'll keep that in mind.
Oh, there's enemies in here. I was wondering why I wasn't sprinting. I was like, what? Nice off-screen enemy. Yeah, well, look, at, look at where my round trip went. It went through that enemy, in between both enemies, but without actually like hitting either enemy that I wanted to hit. Like, look. Why did it go so far? It just doesn't stop when it's supposed to. Round trip has a set distance and goes in the direction you're facing. Okay, so it doesn't just stop when it hits an enemy. I feel like that's not usual for round trip. I don't think it's ever done that. I think you, Ricky, for the bits. It's not usual. This is the one case. Okay, so it's like a special. I wonder that that feels like a mistake. Almost. Like it wasn't meant to be like that. I think Coolsville sucks. I think all the Virgil cutscenes are like, um... Like, it's the animations for Nero in the cutscene, but it's just Virgil. So slow. His fastest judgment cut cancels on taunt. I was the soldier boy. I remember raiding Lil Wayne. Where was it, Lil Wayne? He streams, right? T Pain, yeah, T Pain. I remember raiding T Pain, and people on a stream were like, he was playing Shin Migami Tensei 4. It was really funny. Pain streams, yeah, a lot of a lot of rappers stream. Soldier Boy, T Pain, Lil Wayne did the Street Fighter Six thing. I don't know if he was actually like streaming it, but he did a little thing with Street Fighter Six, like a sponsored reveal for the game a couple months ago. <laughs> Sasha Gray streams. She was playing Bloodborne. She was playing Bloodborne, she was playing really passively, and it took me a lot to not say, you have to go in harder. Unironically. 
Because she was just like backing off really hard against like all the bosses, like not getting up um, Murgo's wet nurse's ass. Which is like the, the genuine strat for the fight, that's what I would say in the stream. Because that boss just like has a six swords that only hit you from the front and the sides, but if you get, you know, back there. But I did I did not I held my tongue. I held my tongue. I didn't I didn't I didn't say anything. Stop gaslighting. I can't believe that this is not the battle theme that plays by default. I can't believe that I had to mod this in. This is like Virgil's theme that's literally in the game. Who is Madison Beer? Bro, why did they put... Why is that on style and attack? I keep animation canceling it by accident. Yeah, I, I was just about to mention, I'm just destroying these guys for free, unlike Dante or Nero. This is literally just a DMC5 character in DMC4. The way that he does so many things for free. Less screen clears. Yeah, he has one instead of three in this game. Does Virgil have to do this shit? He gets his own little statue piece. He looks so fat, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm an expert at this. One, two... I think I want two, just to land on the yellow. I want six. Which is after two. What is the what do the boys do? I actually don't. Oh, I was just gifts. Okay. Six after two. What happens if you overshoot on these last ones? Does it matter as long as you get three and above? To, it gets you to, to the end. It doesn't matter? Okay, cool. <laughs> it'd be, yeah, it'd be funny if it went back. Speaking of going back, I just fucking went through the wrong door. It'd be really funny if I had to redo the whole chest piece because I went through the wrong door. Penis music, here we go. So I can't knock these back like I'm supposed to, I just have to hit this thing. 
Yeah, two Yamatos. Whoa, wait a minute. I didn't know about that. Look, the sword is embedded in the wall and I'm just hitting it and it's like dealing a million damage. You see that? I didn't, did, can that happen as Nero? Is that like how you're supposed to do this? Or is that just a Virgil privilege? Oops. How did that happen? That did so much. So slow. Oh, if I just hit these, they just bounce towards the uh, the frame. Okay. Oh. I think you have to like knock it at him. It like got stuck where he was standing. Interesting. I like how the bitrate dies when that room transition happens. It's going pretty well, as Virgil. I'm just glad I remember how to do these, uh, like the navigation for the missions, more or less. Yeah, 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 bridge. Can't focus on this game, why not? Is there just too much shit happening? Staring at the E card's icon for 20 minutes? Why? Is Virgil just ugly? Yes? Okay, that's fair. Trying to drive. It's over. Ultimate smash your pass for my birthday this year. You'll you will play and hear my thoughts on every version of Virgil. Okay, I'm excited for that. Two of them were in that combo. That was pretty sick. Oh, I can do these inputs, fucking FF16 inputs where you can press two face buttons at the same time. Oh my god. Try to dodge that. Well, you fucking dodge that, you go, Virgil.
Oh, I couldn't turn mid charge that I wanted to turn and hit the guy that walked at me first. I'm dope. I'm fucked. I'm alive. Ow. Am I alive? I'm alive. How can that be? Ow. Nice menu. What mission is this? I don't remember. It's gonna be really funny doing the Dante missions in this because I'm just still playing as the same character, so it's like, why am I even... Is this eight? Okay, cool. I'm... I just wanted to make sure I was making decent time. I thought it was, I was on like mission five or some cringe number. Six? Oh, god damn it. At least it's not five, some cringe number, like five. Oh, come on. It's weird that running in a battle lowers your concentration. You just have to, like, walk everywhere. I guess it's fair. That's, like, what he does in the boss. And he has so many dashes. How do I do it? How do I do it, man? There you go. Judgment. Judgment nut. Yeah, DMC4 because they developed it for four months. This fucking guy, Shield Landy. Okay. Die. Yeah, Smash or Pass, it's just a specific version of a tier list. You can do any tier list, like, um,. Fruit tier list. I don't know. I guess that's it's like Smasher Pass. Same. It's, it's, it's the exact same. I like spamming Lunar Phase. In DMC5, the hitbox for jump canceling is so big that you can just do, like const you can do lunar phase and constantly keep it in motion by doing it repeatedly with jump cancels, so you can constantly keep spinning. It's really funny. So slow.
Wait, where am I going? All right, the bridge. To the bridge? No, I need to remember where that is. Oh, I need to, uh, I remember. I can't believe they made this theme and they didn't make it the battle theme for Virgil. Like, they literally made the theme. And then used it in the one cutscene. I can't believe I had to mod the... Let's just see. Yeah. Let's just see. Juicy ass name. Oh, I'm in the jump there. One move Andy right now, fucking lunar face. I think spinning the stick does count as teching grabs or breaking out of like freeze. You see that? How Virgil was wriggling when I was spinning the stick? That was just me spinning the stick. And hoping that every directional is accepted as like mashing a face button. Baby sort of shading lesson. I mean, if you think about it, that's exactly what this generation of gaming was, 2008. Video game devs' first fucking first lesson in what do you call it in game development? Like, keep in mind this is a 2008 game. There are other games that came out around this time that look great. True. I mean... Cap... Well, let's talk about Capcom specifically, because what else did they make around this time? Fucking Street Fighter 4? That game looks like shit. RE6. Would you say that that looks good? I haven't seen much of it, but it looks decent. At this point in game development, wasn't it just like a free-for-all to get these fucking games so look decent and run? Run? Just run? I mean, this game ran at 60, so like, I gotta... This game ran at 60 on a PS3 and an Xbox 360, so I gotta give them credit for that. You gotta give them credit for that, because everything is running at 25. After piss, I'll be right back.
too bad this game didn't have turbo on PS3 though. Or else I'd install it on my CRT and play it for fun on there. I'm back. Mission summon. The Xbox Sludge. I just want to look at the skill list again. I need to use this more. Force Edge Combo B is pretty cool. I love Turbo Mode. It makes the game feel more responsive. Combo B is a judgment cut cancel with this weapon? Holy shit, I just drove Virgil like a car with that combo. It's like Agni and Rudra Stinger on crack. That's really cool. What if you don't delay the second? You know we need to delay the second or the last input. The move list says delay the third and fourth input, but I just mashed after the first delay. In this, yeah, the first delay. After the last spin, you can do a perfect jumping cut. Do you have to switch weapons to do it? Air trick cancel lunar phrase into another. I've just been jump canceling that. I'm mashing style right now. Maybe I need to have an enemy next to me, but. You can jump cancel it into another one if the hitbox is just right. I'll try it on an enemy. You can stay on it, the game switches for you. Huh. Interesting. Is there anything else with Force Edge dual wield that you can do with that? I've never heard of that. Yeah, this cringe enemy. It's the flip at the end, right? Oh my god, this is like the worst enemy to try it on. You can't do summon swords while taunting? That's cringe. I was just trying to do forward uh, spiral swords, or not spiral. The, the forward one, the Dark Souls Pursuers one. I see. I don't know why I was so dramatic. Oh, 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 Axe, Jesus. I see. That's cool. Roblox model? Yeah, this does look like a elaborate Roblox mod, Virgil mod. 
right down to the shoulder with and everything. Roblox, technically, calling something Roblox, it's like saying that you made it in Unity. Roblox is a game engine. It's easy to not realize that. But it's a game engine made so that the makers of Roblox can profit off of the games kids make, like it's child labor, because it literally is. Oh, I was trying to save my shit. Well, oh. off, what's the ratio? The fucking wall. Run away. Oh, that's so useful, because it switches for you. That's really good. Is that in 5? I don't remember that in 5, that's for sure. Oh my god. I was trying to parry this sword, god damn it. Nice use of D2 there. Whatever. You have to like do finishers on those attack things in this game. I hate those things. Oops, that was I was holding forward the whole time. Fuck you, video game. Oh, they, I thought he would, he would die from me dropping him like that. There you go. I could make that jump, maybe. If you stinger jump here, you get a fucked up stinger jump that doesn't actually stinger jump. Do I have DT? I don't. If I had DT, I could do a stinger air jump. But I don't. At least the enemies are gone. This is really awkward, because Virgil is just already dead. I don't even have to like fight them, they're just gone already. Virgil looks older in this game than he does in 5. At least from the back when his hair is all... ...that. Really interesting. Oh my god. Yeah, he's so wide. He's supposed to be a year younger than DMC3 here. Can you believe that? I can't. Judgment cut after the taunt. Oh, I'm the wrong weapon. I'll try that later. Hold on. I tried to hold X in the taunt there, but it immediately cancelled into a swing. It's definitely the least trouble I've ever had trying to get that input to work, though, Judgment Cut. I don't know if that's the inputs you do in 5 for it. X and Square on my custom controls, but I've been landing them pretty well today. Oh, he gets a little tornado when he's level 3 in concentration when he does that. I'm starting to notice how his moves get juiced in level 3. Like multi-hits and like more area of effect.
Oh, three has some accidental jank. Cool. His run animation when he's holding the Yamato in his left hand is really funny. This is like his only normal run and he still looks really funny here. They want you to walk around a lot as Virgil, just in combat, they want you to be walking the whole time, RP walking, so that your meter doesn't go down, like I just did right there, because I just got owned. Do not diss left-handers. I know some people that are left-handed with their mice, like keyboard and mi keyboard and mouse, they use the left hand for the mouse and it's like hell for them. At least they used to be before they made ambidextrous mice. High time level 2 is a multi-hit? Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, mechanically they want you to walk like you're him. At least in battle. I really like the way that they did combat adjudicators in this game where they're like... They can be air comboed and you don't have to use a specific weapon for them. Quite nice. It's just a little weird from a style player's perspective where you are penalized for playing a specific way. It feels kind of anti DMC, but this character is so fucking good just out the gate that it's like, do you even need the level 2 and level 3 buffs? Oh shit, the level 3 round trip is like a fucking tornado, like a hurricane. It's like the storm that is approaching almost. Crazy. This fucking enemy, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, level 3 round trip, that went crazy. Like, I literally just threw a level 2, and then I threw another one, and it was a level 3, and the difference was obvious. What did they do to concentration in 5? I don't... I was never all too versed in it. Like, did they... make it easier to stay in it? Did they nerf how much you lose from just running? Alright, you know what? Oh, I forgot about the extra combos he gets with this in, oh, in DT. I should have thrown a round trip during that. That was easily half health, though. Just reduced off of the boss. I'm trying to... I keep fucking up my round trips. Ow. How much health did I have going to this?
Get out of there. Okay. Like five bars? Okay. I don't know how much I had. I didn't know if I was like getting owned or whatever. Nice fucking stutter there, that was really cool. That was really cool, yeah. That was really cool, whatever. Bingus. Bingus. I'd like a bingus with my fries, please. Do you want an extra chungly? With a side of scrungle? Thank you, Andre, for the three months. <laughs> Never say that again. Welcome to the Gen Z's world. DT combo A, just mash X? Okay. I actually forgot that I was technically Gen Z as well. When I think Gen Z, I think like 15 year olds. That's a problem. I can't believe that we qualify for that. It feels like there's too much of a difference. I feel like in order to be Gen Z, you needed to have a year of your pre-college education shaved off by COVID. I feel like that is the requirement. That's like Gen Alpha though, right? That's a new one. Yeah, that's Gen Alpha. What is the youngest zoomer? What can the youngest zoomer be? Gen Z. What's the youngest like cut off of that? How the fuck did I get up there? You know, I just remember they gave Virgil in 5, they gave him Nero's Devil Trigger Activation iframes. I don't know if it's for his doppelganger or also for his DT, but they gave him that. Got DT Lunar Phase lasted longer. How the fuck do I get up there? Alright, you know what? Hey, it worked. Oh my god. The f that's what gets me? Whatever. 1997 to 2013. That's... Is that how long generations are supposed to be? It's like 16 years. Yeah, actually that sounds right now that I say it out loud. It should be like... 96 to 2010 IMO. Gotta pay attention. I was talking too much about fucking zoomer math. Last nice attempt. Oh, I did that combo already. That's the one with the swing at the end when you just mash X attack or whatever.
Oh, you throw the fucking sword round trip. It takes longer to charge than I, I think it does. I just got creamed on. What the hell was that stutter? Did you see that? That was like a whole second. Oh my god. Okay. Got my health back. I got crazy. Throw the fucking round trip. How do you... There you go. I need to get farther away. I forget that's a set distance. I need to get like right here. I don't want that to work better. Yeah, that's more like it. Holy shit, that really went far, that trick I just did. Oh, that's okay. I pressed trick and I advanced there and it got me up here like perfectly. Nice, cool. Nice trick, I just like teleported me in the same spot and I got hit. Sounds like a duelist of the roses theme, this music right now. Opportunity right here. Cool. Yeah, I'm expecting round trip to stop as soon as it hits an enemy. In this game, in this character only, it just like will always go. I am holding X right now. Why are you not? Or a drone trip. I've been like having issues charging round trip. It's like not been charging when I've been holding it. Whatever. No. Yeah, it's a set distance. I need to keep that in mind. Oh hell no. I wonder what Kratos gonna be like. How the fuck do you fight Kratos without grabbing his arm? That's next mission, right? His air trick doesn't have a distance limit? Ooh. Yeah, no, that's what I did earlier. I just like jump scared myself by pressing it really far away. Oh, it's not an edge. I was trying to stinger dash off of a non-edge. This area is funny because you kill the area boss and then you use an item that they drop to go back through the area again. Like, usually the structure, if I'm not mistaken, is you go through an area to kill the area boss and then you move on as soon as you've killed the boss. But in this, it's like... Oh, I guess I mean, that's not true. I'm thinking of, like, DMC3 Gigapede is like... You're still backtracking through that area. And same with the frog. You still have, like, one mission afterwards to use the item in the same area again. Look at this bright-ass area. I'm trying to figure out the timing for judgment cutting the end of that combo. Pathetic.
Oh, should have rolled it. 20 Beowulf A combos in 10 seconds by air trick abusing. I need to, yeah, I need to see what that's all about. I didn't do air trick locked on. Or I, need, I, I can't lab out air trick combos with a target in this game because you need to actually hit something in this game to air trick. Oh, never mind, what the hell. Oh, that's only if you're locked, okay. I don't need to use this, do I? Why am I spending this? Yep. Seven months, woohoo. Cooking up some ramen before I head into my graveyard shift job. Good luck with the power. Eli, thanks for the seven months. You should crack an egg into the ramen. If you like eggs. I've been doing that recently, and that is a really cool way to flavor it up and add some protein. Even like standard microwave ramen, especially standard microwave ramen. I'm actually like putting stuff into like the standard one dollar one cent ramen. This enemy can eat my ass on Friday. Yeah, crack egg into the boiling ramen broth, and then put your favorite seasoning in there. And you'll transform like a 79 cent ramen bag into like a six dollar meal. It's, it's great. I wonder if this enemy can do its little sword thing if you launch them. It feels like if you launch them, then they're not allowed to just hit you randomly. I think I've discovered what you have to do against this enemy. Oh, you yeah, do a fucking rapid slash. There you go. I was trying to do that for like five combos in a row, and it didn't come out. Oh my god, this fucking enemy, bro. I should have just judgment cutted. When I had the chance. Oh, what the hell was that? It makes sense that knowledge of this character from 5 would apply to this game. This game, this character was designed in 2015. Probably like right around the time that they just started making 5, so he, very, he feels... This is like DMC 4.5, this guy right here. <laughs> Enemy handicap inbound. I don't think this mission has a boss. What the hell is that? You just escaped the fucking launch. Yeah, I need to use Trick more in my combos. I'm still not sure how exactly how to get the most out of it. Bro, my entire concentration meter gone. Because this enemy doesn't fucking... they, they, they didn't make him right here, you know what? All my apes gone. All my concentration gone. Oh, 
Who made this enemy? Look at this shit. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Like the blitz, I can understand. You can learn the blitz, but this guy, you just you can't do anything. You can't do anything. I think I found out at least Virgil's answer to this. Round trip drive. Yeah, I'm just trying to camp them out with whatever I can do. Judgment cut, what have you. I would just judgment cut end them like immediately if I had concentration, but these guys just hit you while you're comboing them in midair. So you, you lose all your fucking concentration. Oh my god. Do I even need to be fighting him? Yeah, this is a red zone. Why do they do this? Oh, that was perfect. I just jumped over the dude that tried to hit me and I hit him with the second uppercut. You see that? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it's not a red zone. I just saw this and I thought it... Okay. I did not even need to fight those enemies. I thought that this red wall was like a red. You have to kill the enemies to progress. Whatever. I have not I have not used Storm Swords this whole playthrough. What is that? That's... Oh, that's like the... Yeah, that's like the DMC1 sword attack. It's back and hold. I've just been doing that. Back to forward, okay. Back, okay. I've just been doing forward. There's a back and a back to forward. No time for this funny thing that I know how to do. This is the Kratos mission, so dying to those fucking little dudes is probably gonna put me in handicap if I have to fight, if I die against Kratos, that's annoying. I hope I'm not in handicap. I wish I had a way of checking. Yeah, he doesn't have a good way of doing attacks to drive around really fast. You just gotta run. Virgil's Peepo sprint. If I die once, I'll just restart the mission because there's like nothing in this mission other than this guy that I remember. Oh, that's what, that's the way to do it right there. Round trip goes crazy here.
Oh. You do this a lot as Dante too, right? Just destroying this guy with round trip because he can't handle it. I feel like I've seen that used a lot on this guy. Can you hit those back at him? trying to charge around trip. I wish I knew how many times I died because I don't want to get enemy handicapped again, but I feel like I've died like three times already. If I die one more time, I'll just restart. Or if I notice I'm dealing way more damage all of a sudden because they made the game wrong and they put you on a lower difficulty against your will if you die five times. Oh, I'm trying to roll that. So we're being able to just attack him like this. He definitely feels like you're only really meant to be fighting him as Nero, that's for sure. But like, in a way that is bad for Kratos, not bad for the player. Like, he'll just block everything, but you just like throw a round trip up his ass and he's done. I was trying to roll, fuck. Oh, I'm trying to knock that back. That's probably the best thing to use as a parry tool, just like a revolver. Yeah, that's free as fuck. Lunar phase there. I fucked up the second one there. Oh yeah, he does it a lot faster than I thought he would. Oh damn it. I threw the round shot, but I pulled it back by accident. There you go. I lose hella concentration if I get parried like that. Oh, you can just hit his arm as if you were grabbing him to break his arm. Eventually it breaks all the same. I think. It's definitely getting there. Oh, that didn't get him. Oh, here we go with this. That's how you know it's on hard mode. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead. He just exploded. Oh, okay. No animation, he just blew up. Cool. Ah! Enemy handicap! Fuck! Retry. So stupid. Whatever. Speedrun. Oh, it's a fun fight. I don't mind doing this again. I'll just speedrun this. Enemy handicap, bro. Why? Give me a break. Let me fucking do this on Sun of Sparta for fuck's sake. Why would they do that? Why would they keep that in? It feels like something that should be included in like a like a hook for the game. Uh, enemy handicap. Uh, enemy handicap. So lame. Level 2 judgment, that's pretty nutty. So slow. Damn, if only I'd backed off before doing that run trip, it would have been right up their asses. I wanted to switch to Beowulf there, so I did a dive kick, but I over-swapped, or under-swapped, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm just glad in terms of DMC mods, I have the, um... The collaborative trainer for 5, so that I can customize the way some moves are activated, and, like, have breaker swapping and whatnot, give drive back to Rebellion kept my skincare in my fridge. That reminds me, I keep my eye drops in my mini fridge. It's really nice when you need eye drops and they're cold. That's like a, that's a pro tip and a half right there. Mini fridge is great to have. When my brother moved out, uh, me and my brother in between our rooms, we had a collaborative mini fridge, but when he moved out, the first thing I did was I popped that shit in my room right now, and now it's like next to my desk. It's like right there, I can like look at it. All for me. It's all mine. It even has a freezer too. All mine. I guess that mission's really fast. It's one force fight and then the maze. Did you just call me Dante? No, I didn't. Judgment Cut seems like a really good way to hurt his arm, his arm shield. Hey, I parried him with that. Whoa, what the fuck? That was kind of nutty. That 
parried him with a helm breaker. I didn't even know it would do that. I was just trying to land. Oh, I'm like getting owned. I just looked at my health like the first time. I the extra long lunar phase just got me hit there because I wasn't in a good spot to do a follow up. Here we go. I just judgment cutted the spear in midair. I just judgment cutted it out of the air. Oh. I just realized he has taken like no damage. I need to just hit him with this one. He had a third one? Come on, man. He's never done that in no life. He did that like point blank, I wasn't ready. At least I have some attempts before I get handicapped again. <laughs> nice use of my DT there. Oops. I really do hope that they put custom controls in 16 by the time I get to it. I'll give it a week. While I finish up this cute little marathon we're doing right now. No! If that were a perfect cut, that would have been in time. Look at that hitbox. Free as fuck. They parried each other there, oops. Oh, if that were a perfect cut, that would have been in time. Sometimes when I'm holding round trip, it does not charge. It just doesn't. It doesn't do it. I just looked over the chat, it was just three Nightbot automa automated Nightbot posts in a row. I was like, what the hell is going on over there? Nightbot? Popping off. Also, I'm getting fucked up right now.
I need to make it so that Nightbot shows up on the on-screen chat, I think. On the YouTube products, I've never seen a Nightbot message ever. I realized that the other day. I was like, wait a minute. Nightbot says a lot of funny things around here. Should probably fix that. Enemy handicap for sure. Procs after three deaths, not five. That's really stupid. This is, so this is my last attempt. If I did that every time, it's just a full meter of his bar just gone. Damn, you get hit once, your entire concentration meter gets bopped. It's really funny. Alright, you know what? Too late. You still kind of have to time it. How does that even hitting him? It's really funny. What the fuck? I didn't even know he was able to get back up there. Did not see that. Yeah, yeah, it's quick retaliations when you hit him, knock hard, knock on like that. Oh, that the third one went through. I thought the round trip would protect me there. Can you parry that third projectile? It seems like you can't. Okay, you can. A skill issue. How do you block that? Come on, man. I guess I, I should get behind him if I'm trying to charge Beowulf when he's round tripped. So hard to do. Whoa! I just sent him flying there with that. Expecting that. Oh my god, double launched. I should trick to him more as soon as I pop the round trip. Really? His arm's gonna break like any second now and he's gonna get destroyed. What is he doing? He's hitting the floor all the way over there? Whoa, that threw me off. That was cool. I got a little crazy towards the end, but I just wanted to blow him up with a big combo when his arm broke, finally. Yeah, he was definitely, um... Okay. <laughs> I had to hold my breath. Enemy handicap almost just jump scared me again.
So, uh, the time stop sword ring that you haven't used, period. That's a thing, period. That's the most insufferable way you could have said that. Let me just warn you real quick. That is uh, definitely a, a way to uh, remind me. Uh, Captain's starting. Captain's law. It's back to forward, right? That's a really weird input to do with a gun. It's kind of funny. That's like the only back to forward that he has, isn't it? Uh, Captain's law. People, people in this chat have actually gotten blown up for using proper grammar. Like, not like just once or twice with a message, but like if the people that are on the internet and insist on typing like perfectly every time in a Twitch chat, I have, I think I've banned a couple people for that. Oh yeah, and don't get me started on the people that camel case every single, the, the first letter of every word. Oh hell nah. Yeah, those people, on, those are on site. Camel case, that's not technically the right word for it. That's when people random, that's like when you randomize which letter you capitalize, but I just call it camel case because it's like, the, you know the humps on a camel? That's like what the capitalization looks like. Wait, you do a judgment cut? There you go. Yeah, the only exceptions... The only exceptions is like like, like, like the tweet Daynava is referring to. If it's like a funny tweet, you can get away with talking like a light novel anime title. But like, if you're trying to talk to me in a Discord or like in Twitch chat, that shit gets... Get that ass banned. Or if my phone auto capitalizes everything, oh, that's fine. If you, if it just auto capitalizes the first word, that's fine. But if you like take the time to put a cringe little period, if you take the time to put a cringe little period or proper punctuation every time in a Twitch chat, then you get on my sus list. Unless I know you. Enjoyers. Commas are fair game. I, I guess I think like, the only thing that isn't, the only thing that will be sus is just the combination. The only thing, I'm not even trying to say like don't use capitalization or punctuation. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if every single, like without fail, every single thing that you send has like proper punctuation and capitalization for every sentence. Then that's a little sus to me. Not not because of how it looks, but because it tells me something interesting about people on the internet. I've been I've been reading into people on the internet for a long time. And from what I've observed from people in Twitch chat, the people that are all like proper with every single message that they've ever sent are the biggest bitches in the world. As in, like, unfun to talk to. They are, like, very intense and, like, you know. It, it's weird. I'm, it's weird to describe it that way, but. Just people that aren't the most fun to be around. Pretentious, yeah. Typing dot dot dot. I see that a lot in, like, meme meme YouTube video titles and, like, meme prompts that people that, like, engagement farmers on Twitter use that a lot. Ellipses, dot, dot, dot. 
videos that start with so I X dot dot dot. <laughs> am I going the right way? Wait, why am I leaving? Am I going? Wait, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Right, I'm not Dante, yeah, I'm moving like he's him. Hold on. I thought I was Dante for like a second. There. Right, I was supposed to right, I was supposed to go to this side door. You wouldn't believe what happened. Like, for example, I think I try to avoid doing this because I try to respect the intelligence of my audience. I'm probably a mistake as a Kingdom Hearts YouTuber, but nonetheless. Like, the video that I want to make on the Kingdom Hearts stream that I'll do this week before FF16. Um, I want to I wanna pick the worst fucking possible starting option for KH1 Proud Mode. And I want to title the video, The Worst Build in KH1, using the worst build in KH1. But if I really wanted to fucking go all out with the meta, I could be... I could do, so I picked the worst build in KH1, dot dot dot. I don't want to do that though, I am annoyed thinking about that sentence already. Can I yell at Shatters during rando? Next time I do a rando, I don't know when that'll be, but I would definitely be down to do that. Live moderation. I need to get rid of these swords, dude. These swords up my ass. I'm like a sword swallower, but it's not going down my throat, that's for sure. We oh, throw the round trip, I'm charging it for like five years. There you go. Okay. That round trip was staggering him from Mars. You see that? He was just like off screen getting staggered. That was really funny. He just like started floating. Yeah, this character feels very high skill floor, but high skill ceiling. Like, I have not had to work a minute of this stream to get shit done. Trish and Lady. Um, if I ever feel like revisiting this game again, yeah. Maybe I'll dip my head into what it feels like to play as them if I still have some time after beating the campaign. But not a full campaign. There's a blue orb around here that I haven't got. Did I beat this one? I don't think I broke this thing when I was playing the other characters. Hold on. Yeah, I'll... I, regardless of how long this stream takes, I'll unlock everything for them and check them out in, like, Bloody Palace or something. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do some Bloody Palaces with them, actually. That's a good... That's a good way of doing it. I have not done Bloody Palace in any of these streams yet. But that's something I'll come back to later if I feel like randomly booting up one of these games, I'll do some Bloody Palace. Oh my goodness gracious, this is the level 1 enemy beating my ass right now. Get it together. But I could really wound your face, this guy, yeah. I just need to make sure I keep them both staggered. There we go. That guy just died in proximity, nice. I'm hit by the thing. Okay.
How do I get that blue orb? That's, I think I need one more to actually get another solid one. Oh wait, I actually did get a solid one. Okay. Blue orb. I wanted to see if I could get through this without turning those off, but I'm gonna fucking die, bro. I need to make a bones. I've been meaning to make the bones sound effects reward, but I should also make bones has his own cutscene like that, where he, where the guy just says bones. I feel like that would be better. Like he has his own little highlight intro where it's like bones. I think that'd be better. And I'll do a bones stream where I play as bones and I have jump sounds enabled in Jedi Academy so you can hear the bone rattling every second. Great, we're all the way back here. Awesome. I'm gonna restart the mission. Actually, no, I... Uh, whatever. If I die one more time, I'll restart the mission just so I can do the boss normally. Lady in Church of a Cutscene. Is it just the first mission? I'll, I'll see what that looks like. And then unlock their shit. And then do Bloody Palace as them. I want to see what cutscene that they have. That's the first mission? Okay, yeah, I'll peep that. Yeah, don't, don't spoil it. I'm curious if they're going to be just as hypersexualized in the year 2015 as they were in 2008. I need to use this more. I keep forgetting drive exists. I didn't take much damage or concentration. I've never played as Lady Atrish. I've seen them like once or twice in a YouTube video, but like that's it. I've never played as them, so it'll be fresh for me. I haven't played as Trish in DMC2 either. Oh, there goes everything. Cool. Half my health and all my concentration gone. All my apes gone. I like when the frosts in this game do the icicle thing where they just become a big icicle that you can combo off of for days. Everything else this enemy does though is kind of a nightmare. Like that. Holy judgment cut. I wasn't even trying to judgment cut, I was just trying to fucking stinger. Rapid slash. Oh my god, I slowed it down and everything, I still got hit. Okay. I know Lady has like, instead of a double trigger, she has like a bomb meter sort of thing. And when you press, it's like a burst attack? That's what the controls said? I don't know. Oh, I tried to mash out a judgment cut at the end there with the last bit of meter I had. That would have been good. This is the room with a blitz. I should just save up for all that shit, actually. Blitz will show up. Here he is. Uh. Oh, here we go. Nice. 
Not good. I don't. Mm, I did it again. I did not mean to do that. I tricked into the beam when I was out of the beam. Stop doing that. I'm trying to save my meter so that I can escape the grab if I get hit by it, which I will. I didn't get grabbed. Stop popping DT. This is not good. Come on. This mission fucking sucks. Hold on. None of the enemies in any of those elevators dropped any green orbs, and there are no green orbs in between elevators. Speaking of which, I have a million... Let me just buy... Fucking health vital stars or whatever, just so if I can't be bothered to... Do a mission properly, just use one of these. I just don't want to get enemy handicapped against bosses. I don't care about anything else. Orb. Item Andy, yeah. I, I just want to do bosses without being put in the fucking cringe-ass Devil Hunter difficulty, okay? I... It didn't even have the triple formation, he just threw that shit with a second guy. I was trying to... I was trying to parry that. I need to do that combo more often. I keep forgetting which one that is. It's just like the delay in the middle. It is not just a delay in the middle. I hold the button so hard when I play these games. I do not need to be punching lock on that hard. What am I doing? It's only these games, though. Every other game, I'm not fucking destroying my controller in the process. Huh, I thought that- okay, hold on. That swing must be really fucking juiced if that's- if the delay combo is a three-hit combo and not mashing giving you what should be a delay combo's worth of combo. Weird. We buy me a new controller. How much are DualShock 4s over there? They're like the price of a game over here, bro. I I had a DualShock 4. It's not a safe investment. I had a DualShock 4, a golden one for about two months before I had the worst like stick drift, automatic stick flickering that I've ever gotten. I opened. I tried to open it up to to fix it. I contorted the entire case of the controller, said fuck it, just ripped it in half, took the battery, and put it in my backup DS4 controller that had a bad battery. And like a fucking clawed out D-pad because I'm insane. Both of the DS4 controllers I have that have the clawed out fucking bottom button on the D-pad because of how insane I was during the rando arc, I guess, where I just like scratched a hole. 
on the right side of the bottom button of the D-pad. That happened to both of my controllers, because that was like a tick that I had when the loading screens. It was really funny. Yeah, the VOD where I actually showed it off as a classic moment. I don't know how I did that. Two of my controllers have flimsy-ass D-pads that wiggle now. This song is so good as a battle theme, I keep forgetting I had to mod it in because this company didn't do their job properly. I would get a special PS5 side panel if I hadn't put my black and white whatever happens happens sticker on it day one. Or else I would get like one of the um, side panels that have like better ventilation and like a, a slimmer profile that doesn't look like fucking Seto Kaiba's jacket collar. Though I actually kind of like how that looks, so I'm fine with my... Can you buy me the red one? How much is that? That's a nice controller. I can't do that. That's nice. Dual senses are too fucking big. And you're forced to use one when you fucking... Play a PS5 exclusive game. You can't claw grip them as well. I don't like that about dual senses. Too late. Do I need to break this again? Stay where you are. So, so pretty, pretty, please. You sound like SpongeBob right now. Not a bad thing, by the way. I need more SpongeBob emotes, like 7TV emotes. I've called this game a SpongeBob game so many times already. Oh my god, the range of that attack. Yeah, you can time out mods, it just costs a hundred dollars for the whole day. I guess if you guys wanted to collaborate on it, multiple people could do that. Imagine, like, five people split the difference and all donated twenty dollars. That would count. I'm gonna use an item here. They can't be bothered. Oh my god, the level 3 judgment cut is fucking insane, bro. What are we doing here?
Yeah, the mini judgment cut and Jesus. Oh, I should have bought devil stars instead of 500 million fucking vital stars. I guess I, I guess that incentivizes me to get some more red orbs again. This song is so good. Hey, I got a green orb from those guys, so I wonder why. So slow. Here he is. Not the kind of swords I wanted there, but I got him anyways. Oh my god. Wait, you switched to the right weapon, man. Oh my- okay, at least that tracks. Oh my goodness, this fucking enemy. Even when you can hit him, you can't hit him. Bro, I'm trying to do... That sword, what is it called? That sword rush thing. So because this enemy turns the camera around 500 times a second, I keep getting spiral swords instead of what I actually want here. It's really cool. Alright, well, I don't have three bars of butter, so... Where am I gonna grab? Oh, I do. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was like... That was a sound effect every frame. Save up and buy more of these devil stars. Bro, my chest is fucking sore. My arms are sore. I went to the gym yesterday. Right? I'm holding Catharsis beating this guy up with Virgil right now. I think I distorted that a little bit. The, the hit stop got a chunkier than it normally is. Throw a round trip! What are you doing, Virgil? Okay. I've been having issues charging up round trip. It's like not fucking doing it sometimes. Some attacks I'm gonna hold, I hold attack and it just doesn't buffer it as I start walking around. This guy's getting melted, by the way. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. I have to do one fucking lunar phase in order to knock that guy out of that. That's great. That was tight as fuck.
Nice. I want to share a fucked up joke. Uh, you should probably hold your tongue on that because that could mean a million different things. Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> yeah, if you have to ask. But I guess bonus points for asking. Yeah, no penalty for using items, but if you die three times, then you get penalized against your will. It's really backwards. Hey, Ricky Ding Ding and the gifted sub. Thank you. Oh, I thought I had... No, oh, I 1330, not 13500. I'm only three blue orbs short of getting max. I didn't think I'd get so many in this playthrough, all the secret ones I've gotten. I still need to get that one that's in the hallway, the elevators. I don't know why Nightbot does that. <laughs> Thanks, Sham. Thank you. Hold on, I'll fix that. Let me... I thought I remember the last time I tried walking onto that to fix that. I couldn't find anything that... Like, I did not see what the problem was, but maybe all I have to do is log in. I think I just haven't logged into whatever that is in a while. Nightbot. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm logged in. Try it again, now that I've logged in. <laughs> hey, it didn't throw an error. Yeah. Right. Chat Andes, tell me if there's an ad. Right. Why did I say chat Andes? Ad Andes, unsubbed Andes. I didn't throw an error, so... What am I saying that's wrong? Probably... There are a lot of things, like Kappa, every version of Kappa, Sonic... Yeah, if you're adding Ren, that doesn't work either. In order to keep my own moderators happy, I gave them a lot of words that they are allowed to 1984 out of the chat. I gotta pay them somehow. There's not much of a story behind why Sonic is banned. Mods just, and myself personally, do not like Sonic or discussions about Sonic. Because Sonic fucking sucks! It's also very much that this. I feel like the whole the way Sonic fans complain about their games is very much like Kingdom Hearts. So we don't need we don't need another Kingdom Hearts kind of game in the discourse around here.
We already have Kingdom Hearts to deal with. Also, I'm about to die. Yeah, I've got the plastic. The plastic chair is like the second most downloaded mod in DMC5. I will have it. It's like officially canon, honestly. It's unofficial canon. That's an oxymoron, I know, but it is. Might not even be oxy. It's so awesome to see games inspired by FF16's combat being released. What's up, Thor? I wish FF16 was inspired by DMC's control scheme. The button layout, that would have been nice. That'd be swell. It's so fucked up. That game is inspired by so many DMC mechanics and, like, playstyle, but, like, holy shit. Every button is in the wrong place. Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. The bridge is released now. It unlocks in 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, it does. Depending on what region you're in. Yeah, remapping buttons, yeah, that'd be a great it must have been it must have been Platinum's influence to not have remappable buttons since they worked on they helped develop that game. They must have stepped in and been like, nope. Three crack headed control schemes, that's all you get. We at Platinum Games, that's our expertise. Make it so. Oh my god. Okay. Stranger of Paradise? Yeah, you're right, that wasn't remappable, was it? But that game had the benefit of being just like Neo, which controlled just like Dark Souls. So everything was more or less in a good spot by default. At least, at least had similarities to previous ex previous games. So it wasn't like breaking new ground like FF16 is with fucking L1 lock on and everything else is wrong in that game. Oh, it's this mission. I don't have to do this one. I already did this one. Nor can I do it as Virgil. Yeah, current year, true. I'm sure if that game was on PC day one, it would have had that because you have to have that on PC games. Like, even Kingdom Hearts got that after 20 years of not having it ever. They got it on PC. Custom controls for pad and keyboard. It even got a XO confirm swap, which is insanely cool. It even got something I've never seen in most games, being able to choose what on-screen prompts are displayed. That is so cool. I don't know how they popped off so much with those ports in that department, and then made it not functional with OBS for like a year. Yeah, I tried remapping with the PS5's built-in thing. I tried that on the demo stream, and that made things worse because it fucks up every menu. Like, for me, I was pressing, like, square for X. Swapping with, like, R1, R R1, L2. R1, L1 was, like, the opposite. So nothing else, nothing made sense in the menus. It was too game-breaking. Can I shoot through the wall with those? Oh, I'm gonna die. I should've just healed later. Cool menu. It freezes up for five seconds. I have to go across this again? Whatever. God, no. No.
That was not the input I was trying to go for, but okay. Hey, they're both little dudes now. Holy shit, the, the range on that trick was really funny. Instant transmission. Damn it, I wanted to throw a level 3 round trip, but I got hit charging it again. That is not... I'm holding forward to do the sword thing. I get spiral swords again. Fuck. Okay, fine. Relax. Very good. Very bad. Oh, my neck hurts. I think I did... I did, like, shoulder raises or whatever the fuck on a machine at the gym. My neck hurts in places I don't think it should. Oh, no. You can remap SLP. You, you can? Is that a PC thing, or is that every console? I thought it had two um, layouts. At least on PS5. Alright, here we go. I went to the wrong side. Uh oh. I don't think PS5 had it. I swear, I guess I didn't. I, I guess I didn't look because I felt like everything was perfect in that game. But oh my god! Yeah, I just remember having a Type A and a Type B where you could like do attacks with the face buttons instead of the triggers, like a Souls game. That's not your motto. I gotta fuck up. I gotta reset this. Stranger of Paradise, or at least from what I've played of FF16's demo, oh my god, how do I do this jump? Man, I wish I had Trickster right now. FF16, Stranger, pa Stranger of Paradise feels like it's a better blend of... Oh, Virgil. He just slipped off. I just need to see that. Stranger of Paradise's stagger meter felt like a better interpretation of staggering from FF7R and whatever other FF games that is from. I... Virgil weighs 400 pounds, that's why I can't make this jump right now. Look at this air stinger. It's so bad in this game. Compared to 5. It's not even a stinger. What the hell? I should, yeah, I just need to do this. I keep forgetting this is his only way of doing double jumps. It's the wrong side. Again. It's fine. I figured it out. Don't be locked on when you press that button in this game. As soon as I jump on this, it's going to reset and start moving fast. Why is it still slow? Does it really last that long? Wow, it does. Okay. Oh my god. That should not take me that long.
Are you gonna hit me with a sad horn? I can already imagine. Right, something else was it, Yukari? I need to get the timing down for when you do combo B, force edge, and you can judgment cut it. On the flip, it's hard to do. It's such a long move, you can't really practice the timing of it all too well. I should take a midstream break after this. I just realized that it's been four hours, and I've just been sitting here. Not stretching. I hope they use the TikTok voice for um, the MMO teacher, Social Link in Persona 3. That would be really funny. But they're not going to do that. I wonder what they will use, though. Get this dog out of here. Oh, that hella overshot was like point blank. Nice. I'm assuming P3R is gonna have every like fusion feature. I actually don't know what the fusion features in five, P5 are like, but I'm assuming it's gonna have manual skill inheritance because they have so many other P5 features in that game already, like no fatigue and party control. So if they're gonna do that, then they're gonna do like everything else that will soften up the experience of playing that game. Oh, you mean fusion battle? Like, um, combo attacks? Yeah, combo attacks. That's like the DDS system, but between two personas in your inventory. Yeah, if you like that system, go play Digital Devil Saga. Play a real Shin Megami Tensei game. Instead of it just being ultimate attacks that you use, it's like something you can just do. Have I done this secret mission? It's red. I'm assuming I... yeah, actually, I pieced out of this mission. I can do it. Glitteral fusion. That's the thing you can do in SMT4. You can fuse mid-battle with a certain app in that game. Yeah, I remember not doing this one because I... You know, didn't do it. I wish I could see Virgil so I could like do the input correctly. I fucking I couldn't see the floor and I wasn't moving. 
I can do this one pretty easily. This Virgil, I just need my fucking summon sword inputs to do what I want them to in this fucked up camera room. I feel like has been out like all day for New Zealanders and people abusing the location exploit. What? What knocked me off so quickly? Oh well. Nah, I like that emote. Skeletons have unbelievable physical comedy. We need to talk about that. Oh, let me turn off my candle. I did not mean to spend all my DT there. That's... I did not mean to do that fucking input, man. Ah, swords. 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 Swords, man. It's so hard to do directionals for swords, because everything is so weird, and you don't even do an animation, so it's like hard to even confirm you're doing it, right? Okay. Can I use items? Oh, I need to, like, fail the secret mission if I want to use items. Hold on. Answer my call. Thank you. I knew that. I was thinking about doing a stream with all the moderators that have those soundboards or they just like sit in a call in cage 2 random and they just do that at will I forgot to use the items, the whole reason why I just quit that minigame I'm about to die hold on, I'm resetting reason I just closed it out of that. Okay. Maybe one day. I don't have any randos in mind for a while though with FF16 and my video plans. I think next stream I'm gonna do the KH1 it should only take one stream to do that, but I want to do um, the whole proud mode, bad build thing, because I want to make a video out of that like pretty soon here. Virgil, he just slips off. He just, he just, he just slips, he slips down a banana peel into the void. I don't mind doing cage streams, but the only reason why I don't mind doing them is that I feel f I free myself to do things that aren't them. Did you see Virgil walking forward there while summoning the summon swords and doing not the forward summon sword? That was really cool of him to not do the fucking summon sword that I ordered five minutes ago on my Papa John's app, bro. Literally walking forward towards the enemy. Summon swords? No, spiral swords. That's what you get. You are not doing the directional. You are not doing it. Camera? Uh, 
Yeah, through the wall. Through the wall. Wow, dude. Pride Rock. What did he just do, man? Why did they put Judgment Cut on the same button as Style? Why? I go I, you. Uh, one, okay, one more spin. That was like a break. Okay, so I. Here's what happened there. I tried the Judgment Cut because I had full concentration in DT. He starts winding up for the Judgment Cut and then tricks off the edge because it's the same button. Two, press two buttons. Worst possible input for any game. Press two face buttons at the same time. Thanks, FF16, for making that the primary input for specials. Despite literally being Stinger. We put Stinger in the game and didn't give it the Stinger input. We don't know what we're doing. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to, I need to untangle my duodenum. It's very tangled right now. It's been four hours and I haven't even gotten to the Dante portion of the game. I'm a little concerned. I think once I finish the I think once I finish the Nero missions, I might call it for Virgil because everything else is reused content. I'll be right back. Hold on, I'll think about it.
Okay, I'm back. I realized I forgot to pause the recording, but whatever, who cares? Yeah, so I'm just gonna do up to the Pope. Beat his ass, and then do a Lady and Trish power hour in the Buddy Palace. And also, fuck that secret mission, it's going to hell. I'm not doing it. Oh shit! Almost forgot that this guy was here, I just got no scared by Dante. Very intimate camera angle right here that we have going, but it's okay. Oh my god. Taunting right there. Oh, he's eye frames, dude. He was eye frame there. Bro, he has so many eye frames. That guy crazy there, that's like a real person in the computer interaction. Yeah, 18 year old Virgil versus 40 year old Dante. Although this guy looks like he's 40 year old Virgil as well, boomer Virgil, genuinely. The back of Virgil's hair is so weird to look at. He just shot all that out of the air. How did he dodge that? Oh my god. He's going hard. Oh my god, I caught him again with it. I'm just taking him downtown. Oh shit. He's getting fucked up today. Oh, well, there's my concentration. I wanted to see if I could get DT for a judgment cut here, but no way. Alright. Enemy handicap inbound. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a Minecraft Virgil skin. Mission 12 is the last, um, Nero... Yeah, it's this and then... Actually, this is the last mission, is it? No, it's like this and then the boss? I don't remember. Is it the last Nero? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just do this. And then... Play as Lady and Trish in the Blade Palace. That would have more unique content than doing the rest of the game. And I'm not doing the fucking Spongebob bosses, Virgil, that's for sure. Yeah. No, that that's good for Virgil.
I've never played as Lady and Trish, so I'd rather spend way more time messing with them in Bloody Palace and also seeing what their cutscene is. Lady and Trish Power Hour. Had my fellow Virgil. Didn't even know you play as Lady. Yeah, you can. Lady and Trish. You can also... There are mods where you can play as Lady in 3, similar to how they made Virgil playable, because they just took Virgil's boss moveset and made him playable in Special Edition, and so mods do the same thing for Lady. Yeah, I put this game down relatively quickly as well, because I was just trying to get to 5. Oh, you're not dead. A lot of people will herald this game as like best gameplay in the franchise because of just relative smoothness and um, tech between Nero and Dante, but DMC5 for me wins by default by having a good camera, stages that do not have area reuse and dumb puzzles, and you know, a good camera. It deducts points for V, of course, but you know. At least most of his missions, or at least a good half of them, can be done as Nero instead. Bro, what do you need on this one? You need triple S on this one. I'll do it. Oh, nice. Yeah, Clypoth can get pretty tiring, but at least, like, it's got good color palettes going on. It's very colorful and, like, red and purple. They've got a lot of that going on in that game that I think is really great. Variety and color, and just, you know, looking cool. I'd rather play a whole game as V than DMC4 story. That's that's cap. That's cap. Ain't no weighing. Yeah, the cold open was a little weird. Interesting choice. With the prologue and whatnot. A lot of V haters here, he's fine with a bunch of eyes. You should um, check for gas leaks in your house, I think. It might be a good time to reevaluate. Might have a carbon monoxide leak, some kind of poisoning going on. It's more likely than you think. I'm at work. Even more reason. They don't be checking that shit. Make sure to call OSHA. You could win a pretty big settlement. All that time you spent playing as V as a result of work-related toxic poisoning. They factor V missions in pretty heavily in that settlement. Just wanted to let you know. 
they're aware of the damage dealt to people and their opinions on liking B as a result of toxic poisoning. Goodness gracious. Well, yeah, when I play as V on DMD, I'm just gonna use every gold orb that I have and just spam those and call it a day. Or you know what I could do? I could. Oh, well, I think it would be too much of a hassle to set up alongside the collaborative trainer, but if it's not, then maybe I'll just use a mod that lets me play as Nero instead. Or Virgil, maybe get a, a little sneak preview of playable Virgil by playing as Virgil instead of V. That would actually be story appropriate. The co-op without with the co-op trainer? Could I do it without the co-op trainer? I'm already using the fucking Saiyans collaborative trainer. I don't want to add anything any more to the mix, especially because I have to down patch. You have to down patch nowadays because Capcom put in an update that did nothing and broke every mod. It's a reframework plugin? Okay, that's good because the Saiyans Collaborative Trainer uses reframework, so I should just be able to slap it in. I would be surprised if the fucking Saiyans Collaborative Trainer didn't just let me do that, actually, just as it is. Reframe, reframework. That's an RE. It's like an RE mod manager in integrator thing. I don't know. I, I, it, it's probably wildly inaccurate to call it this, but I'm just gonna call it the Lua backend of DMC5 and Resident Evil 2 or 3 and maybe 4. I don't know. It's actually probably not that far from the truth. I don't know the technical terms of it. Though. I don't want to fucking. Cage to Lua Dev to be like, um, actually, it loads in a different way with a DLL. I've already heard enough from Kingdom Hearts the Lua monitors. Reframework does use Lua? Oh, that's cool. All I know is that that really opened up one of my favorite games pretty quickly into it being on PC. So I just compare it to everything else. Nocturne has, had its own version of that, the melon loader for the mods. I have the older version that works with, um... I have the Saiyans collaborative trainer working. So I am down patched by one patch. I don't have the newest version of 5, I got that all... I got that all set up. I'm assuming that every other mod follows suit. Older version of the co-op trainer? Oh, okay, yeah. I'll look into it. I'll look into if the Saiyans trainer lets you do it. I feel like it should. It does a lot of complicated things. Oh my god. Where's my inertia? I have no inertia. This whole... Whatever. This whole gimmick is designed around inertia and it works against you. That's the whole reason why it's a gimmick. I should just be patient and wait for it to do the pattern I need. That's a crazy concept. Patience in my video game? No way. You have- you're shitting. You're shitting! You're shitting! Why- why do they make it like this? Okay, Jesus. So strict. So slippery, so strict, so breakable. This minigame. Every single place that you have to do it in is ass. Where am I even supposed to go from up here? I just fell down earlier without even thinking. What even is this? Did I get the item from there? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. 
What is this? What did I do up here a minute ago? I don't even remember. It was so unremarkable. Do we just go back to the elevator and go up and do the fight now? Platform that spawned? Okay, yeah. Thanks. I'm stupid. Alright, final boss for Virgil. This is the last of the unique content that this game has in it. They did not make any other missions after this. They didn't do it. Alright, how do I do this as Virgil? I guess they gave him Nero's combo floater. For this exact reason. I press triangle instead of the right button because I'm too used to narrow muscle memory here. Bro, he'd just be backdashing. Come on. Ooh, ooh. I love playing as Nero so much in this game. Every other character I do not really vibe with, even Dante. But that's a skill issue, if anything else. And I like Virgil, it's just Nero in particular just feels two letter grades above the experience of playing as every other character, IMO. Virgil's fun, he does feel a little autopilot-y though. Not necessarily a bad thing, but you know. It's just narrow, it's just so many letter grades above because of how good it feels to exceed in a game like this. Perfect exceeds are just so based. Can I parry this as Virgil? There's just a flow state that you get into as Nero that is just unparalleled, and it's, he's great in 5 for the same reason, especially because he gets a dive kick there. Do it now. Okay, I don't know if he can do anything cool with that as this character. Oh damn. He escaped. I was holding forward the whole time and it gave me spiral swords instead of the forward one. Why is it doing that? Fuck. Oh yeah, revolver. <laughs> Lunar phase. That's a good idea. Oh my god. That was the DT version. Oh, this actually works like a charm. I did I not think of this like right away. Do it now. I like that line. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. That was so sloppy on my part. He did kneel before me. Repeating voice clips in older P PlayStation games? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts 2 was especially good for that. Until they fucking ruined it on purpose. In... Not on purpose, but in... 2.5 and every other version. Where... 
the voice lines cancel each other out instead of stacking. Remember PS2, KH2, where if you do aerial finish on Sephiroth, he does... And anyways, that's the end of the game. They only made 12 missions in DMC4. It's really bold and unique of them. Let's see what um, the cutscene is for the gals. So just how much do you know about Sparta? The story goes that Sparta served as the feudal lord of the city long ago. The people who live there today take these legends as truth and worship them. Just like a god. They worship a demon as a god? Isn't this just the cutscene from the main story? But the real problem is the Order. Lately they've been running amok, catching demons, and have even butted in on some of my jobs. Uh, maybe they're starting a zoo. Not just demons. They've also been targeting devil arms. I don't remember this though. Ones you have. I think this is new. Okay then. Unless I Museum. wasn't paying attention. So what? Well, what if their intentions are foul? And there's a diabolical plan behind these apparently random. Oh, it's a different perspective. Yeah. Okay. Well then, I'd have something to keep me occupied. And Trish. Hmm. <sighs> Try not to keep us waiting, Dante. Yeah, yeah. Is that her voice actress from the anime? Oh, this is unique. They really are breasting boobly in these cutscenes, I will say. That was unique. Oh my god, this this mission camera, bro. Alright. I'm gonna take them into the body palace. Let me just buy all their upgrades. Wait, how am I gonna buy Trisha's upgrades? Okay, so she has... Like Nero, she has the Nero Elm Breaker. Grenade Backdash. You can select your individual in Body Palace. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Cool. Charge Shot. Super Charge Shot. Super Duper Charge Shot. Two some time. Not two some time, but like the spam two some time. Charge shot, charge shot, charge shot. Fireworks. Shotgun stinger with like a special thing at the end. Everything she has is charge shot, it makes sense for her. Gun move set, I think I've seen that. It's sort of like the, the style thing for Kalina on. 
Yeah. Wire shot? Yeah, she has snatch. Some opposite version of it. Blaster. Oh, that's cool. That's her double jump. She does like an attack. Yeah, okay, let's start off with the uh, lady then. I like that the main menu becomes pink for these two. That's cool. Oh, I need to set up the controls. I have not touched the custom controls for them. Oh, and I have the Virgil theme because of um, the mod. I guess all the other characters have um, Nero's theme, right? I'll just leave it. No, oh, wrong category. Trish has Dante's theme? Okay. And the lady has, yeah, that makes sense, Nero's. She has, oh, she has a gun left and a gun right. Yeah, I'll just treat that like Virgil and uh, put that on something that I don't need it on. What are we? What did I do here? Oh, how did I fuck this up again? Oh yeah, gun attack. I would have liked that to be on R2 to be the same as Nero, but whatever. Let's see what sound effect happens when I switch weapons. If it's on the left side, like Virgil, I'll switch it. Oh yeah, it's a gun. It makes sense for that to be on the left side for me mentally, actually. Hold on. It's a gun. It should be on the left side. Alright, hold on. It actually makes sense. It's guns, not swords. I don't have the costumes. I didn't have an option for selecting their costumes. Alright, this makes sense. It's DLC? Okay. It's swapping in the wrong direction. DMC3 Lady and Gloria? That's pretty good. Being able to use DMC3 Lady outfit. Too bad that's a fucking DLC in the special edition. Why? It sucks. I would use that if I could. I like a reticle, it's like a scope. This is pretty cool. Your shoes. Time to go to work. This is the best character ever made. How much is the costume DLC? Is it like a dollar? If it's a dollar, I'll get it.
think like there's a lot of moves I am not aware of. I'm not doing right now. All right, here we go. Wire action has directionals. It's a shame Lady has never had her DMC3 voice actress in like the rest of these games. Oh, this is like a free aim. That's cool. Four dollars. Hold on, I want to see that good outfit on Lady. Hold on, I'll do it. Yeah, it, I feel like if they were going to do the Lady and Trish girl, uh, <clears throat> Girls' Night DLC for 5, it would have been co-op because they made a full fucking co-op infrastructure for that game that isn't used on anything meaningful. So they really should have done a co-op Lady and Trish sort of thing. Lady and Trish costumes, $4. Cool. Some of that should have been in the game, but whatever. Whatever. Go oh, buy the thing. Oh, my fucking authenticator app. All right, Capcom, you have not earned this. I bet I could have, like, hacked the game in some way to just add that. 179 megabytes for that. It's not even in the game. That's cool. That's really cool. All right. Really cool. I'm not gonna use the Gloria one. Maybe I'll use it for like a second, but at least Trish has her standard outfit. Devil May Cry. HD collection. So much better. No music? That's fine. Wait, what does this do? Oh, it's just like a... I see. So it's like a proxy bomb thing. It's pretty much a DT explosion, actually. I think that's actually exactly a DT explosion, because, like, imagine what happens when you have the full bar instead of just the basic three. It's DT explosion. Is it not? This is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. 
Hey, she has the fire noise. That's really cool. The fire stock sound that I like so much. It takes a long time to charge for her. Oh, there's like a charge indicator in the top left. You see it? It like shows how long it's taking and how many you have. It's like they've made DMC2 fun by having like a primarily shooting character. Oh, it's a two-parter. Cool. Uh oh, bro! Come on. Try that again. I don't know why the music wasn't playing. Yeah, good one. Stage three, stage three. I need to use her um, style moves more. Oh, and I can charge while doing style shit. It's like the style button is the actual attack button. Interesting. I wonder if she has more leniency for doing, um, like, when you release the charge shot button. Like, if it's an arrow and you release it at the wrong time, it, it, it just goes away. But I wonder if she can, like, she can. She can animation cancel whatever she's doing with a charge shot. Or at least buffer it, instead of it just disappearing for Nero. That's cool. That's actually huge. I imagine this is kind of a nightmare when you have the more involved enemies surrounding you. The hit stop was chunky there, do you see that? Yeah, I'll fight Dante. Unless they give me a tutorial and I can't actually do the fight normally. At least a tutorial for this character would be actually useful because I've never played this character much. Yeah, it's cool. She has like DT explosion as an official, as like her only DT. That's a cool reuse of that idea. Wire snatch, yeah. That button is more useful than the attack button, honestly. Forward style clean on. You won't get away. Oops. This would have been so cool in five. They really fucked up. Oh, I'm almost dead. This character cannot heal from using DT. That is a big problem for her. Music? Oh, here we go.
they are outside of the arena. That's cool. Oh, you need to connect with the enemy for it to actually be a two-parter. Can't you do that in the air? Doesn't seem like it. Wow, it's hard to survive this, or she can't get her health back. Like, at all. That seems like an oversight. Try that again. It just sucks if you have to fight the same enemies. Actually, I'll fight, like, Dante or something. Real quick. Beat Dante's ass. I, I, I'm not convinced that Lady is not at least some quarter devil, like 10% devil. I'm just like Dante, constantly getting shot at. Lady gameplay is pretty good, it's just... I think um, my initial impression is it's hard to survive as her for a while because she can't get any health back from DT. But if you like charge shot, that's like her entire character is just charge shotting. Oh. God powers instead of demon powers? Oh yeah. Another being a priestess. Yeah, I think she has some kind of supernatural power that is not, like, explained. Just something that isn't demonic. Day four of interviews, so good night. Have a good night, running. Good luck. Let me know how that all goes. Did the lady just say eat a dick? Oh, sh eat this. Interesting offer, I'll tell you about it. Oh, cool. Look at how much damage that this did. Let's full charge this. Oh, well I'm done. He's gonna shoot this out of the air, isn't he? He did not shoot that out of the air. Buddy was not built for that. Yeah, her damage is nuts. Let me do that again now that the tutorial is gone. Just use him as a punching bag. This mission screen about to make me act up. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, owned. Cool. Let's try out Trish. <laughs> if 
fucking Gloria. I'll just use standard Trish. Max charge rocket clears out every room. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while to charge up and you can't like pop DT to be invulnerable, but you can just like zone everyone out and just do it. Pretty goofy. Sparta, bare knuckle, Pandora, devil trigger. Bare knuckle. Oh, she has drive as part of her combo, right? I remember that. She like throws the Sparta a lot, doesn't she? High time. That is awful. B plus. It's a. Fucking FF16 input, dude. For something like high time, how could you do that? Was this shit so important to be back on back that you had to make the most iconic input of the game some dog shit like this? I see where FF16 took influence from DMC, wow. And it's like super overdrive. And she has- some of her moves look like when you throw, um, the sword in DMC1. She's got that little golf finisher, that, that much I've seen. Lunar phase, thunder, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Roll around and just kick everything. It's like straight from DMC3. Cool. Yeah, she looks like she has like DMC1 things a lot. And for some reason she has this weapon, that's cool. I gotta set up my controls for her now. X plus Y in your dreams? Yeah, fucking- why do they have to do that? It's even worse in DMC because the- at least in FF16, the input leniency is like very lenient for pressing two buttons at the same time. In this game, it feels like you have to do it like perfectly at the same time with one fucking thumb or claw grip like an asshole while holding lock on with your middle finger like an asshole. Okay, relax. Oh, she doesn't switch weapons. She doesn't have to switch weapons at all. Okay. That's cool. Just one gun, one sword. DMC one. That little button is Sparta. Oh, I see. So, this is actually pretty cool. Insane range. Too bad about high time, but you know. It's actually not that bad now that I know that she has basically two weapons equipped at the same time. Oh my god. There's a devil trigger. Oh, she just gets to, like, lightning. Well, you just round trip with a single input. It's cool. Puts on sunglasses for DT. That's- okay, that's really cool. That's really good, I think. All right, she has a gun. All right. Oh, you uh, fucking! How did that just become Pandora laser all of a sudden? How does that work? A 
Laser cost DT, oh, okay. I don't think I want... Yeah, I don't want that. I, I do not want that to be on RT, though. I just want that to be on Triangle. I was expecting her to have, like, standard charge shot stuff, but... In that case. Just do a normal... She, she, her guns feel more like Dante. Which makes sense, because they literally are. Right, that just be on Triangle. You don't need to shoot that, like, at all. She doesn't have Stinger. I guess she has that, but it's weird that she doesn't have Stinger. Like, she had the best version of Stinger in DMC2 that that game had in terms of Stingers, but she doesn't have it here. I guess you just want to use straight with the fists, bare knuckle. Or just, you know, the juiced up dive kick. Holy shit. That really went high in the air. That's fucking Rising Sun. Virgil doesn't get that in the straightforward way, but Trish does? Okay. That's a lingering hitbox. These characters kind of do whatever the hell they want if you know the moveset. Yeah, I guess the lady can just spam missile. Why does she have Pandora though? It's such a weird thing to just throw into her moveset. You'd think the shotgun would be more sensible. How do I do the, um,. The golf combo. Sword, sword, delay, mash, sword. Not uh, delay, are you? Oh, melee. Oh, okay. This is the golf swing. <laughs> Goofy. Not a good enemy to use it on right now, but I'll let it rip. Hey, they caught him. I should have been DT for that. That's a good place for it. I did not mean to end it like that though, fuck. What's 
What's that indicator in the top left? That bar that was just going down. Is that just the round trip timer? It is. Neat. If they show that. Makes sense their moves that just spamming that and doing whatever the hell you want during it. Oh my god. Yeah, just do whatever the fuck you want with this character. That whiffed, whatever. I can't believe they don't have their own battle theme, so that's weird. Feels like a big mistake. Not even Virgil. I had to mod it in for Virgil. Yeah, real impact and a built-in string. Yeah, I was just about to say, that's what that was, wasn't it? I just brought all the enemies towards me. And you can like crowd control the enemies towards you with the back Sparta. This has got to be the easiest character in the game, I think. Better than Virgil, even. wild. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I feel like I've already done like everything this character can do, more or less. But I guess fun if you like Trish and you want to just fucking head empty. Just do that all the time. It'd be cool if you could charge her dive kick in the air, just like stay afloat for a little while while you charge it. I'll get to a boss stage. When's the next boss? Or when's the first boss stage? I'd like to beat a boss with this and then call it a day. Maybe stage like 20 or something. The lady seems difficult. Unless maybe I just wasn't abusing her one strong move enough. Because she just can't heal with DT. I feel like I could fall asleep playing in this right now. Pretty cracked. Yeah, there's some cool shit that you can do with these characters, it's just that their basic stuff is so cracked that it's like, you don't even really need to get into it all too much to be good at it.
God. When's the, uh, I just want to beat the fire guy and then call it a day. Is he stage 20? I hope we get to stage 20. Oh yeah, this fucking buddy pass has a timer. I better be careful. This is all you have to do. Just throw a round trip and then charge that. Is all you have to do is this character. Triple hit melee then hold melee. Oh yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, that's cool. Did that have range? To, that has range to it. I did not know that that had that much range to it. It is like Stinger. It doesn't carry you far, but the range is like insane. God damn. What is she saying? What is she saying this? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, and your round trip behaves normally, so it's not like Virgil where it just goes to set distance and then stops. The other game freak enjoy FF16. Oh boy, the true test. What can I do against a blitz lightning versus lightning, huh? I can't use that. And or laser. How do I do it? Hold on, I need to figure out what the fucking input is for that. Back to forward. Shoot, okay. Oh, I get to do my own laser. I just spent all my DT though. That's cool. I just spent all my DT whiffing it. I'm gonna die. Probably would've been perfect though. Oh boy. Oh no. The gatekeeper of fun has arrived. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm not even gonna die. I'm just gonna run out of time, bro. I got him out of the thing, but it's too late. Cool. Bloody pause. You don't rotate the stick, you do back to forward. Nice. Yeah. 
That's okay. Well, I had my fill. I had my fill of the special edition options of this game. That was fun. I'm glad I got to experience those characters. I had never done it before. And next stream, I think, just taking a one day stream, uh, one day break from the DMC marathon to do um, the worst build in KH1. I want to make a video on that pretty soon here. A little stream video hybrid. Get excited for that. And then we will crunch ahead for um, DMC5, and then after, I, I will give FF16 about like a week or so, see if it gets updated with custom controls, but regardless, I'm going to be playing it in due time here. Give all of the, um, all of the FF16 time, all the FF16 fans time to beat that if they want to watch me play it. That goes for all of y'all. Enjoy playing tonight if you're playing tonight. And that's it for me. Have a good night.